I made my Victor late Victorian, early Edwardian bicycle skirt, several of you in the comments were like, oh, I expected it to be a split skirt. And so, oh, hey Thor. <laughs> and so I thought about that and I was like, yeah, a split skirt for bicycling would make a lot of sense. So I thought at the time I remembered that Truly Victorian had a split skirt pattern. So I bought it and I printed it out and I don't know where it went. And once I got it printed out, I realized it did not go up to my size. You disappointed me truly Victorian. <laughs> so I looked around and I found a pattern by Laughing Moon that went up to my size. And so I bought that and printed it out and put it all together and got it all cut out. And I'm going to use this as kind of a wearable mock-up, I think, because I didn't have enough material to, I didn't have enough material to do it full length. So I did the short version, which might be cute. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. But I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. I'm just going to see, see how it goes um, and use this kind of as a wearable mock-up. Thor! There's this note. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So the first, the first step is, of course, getting everything cut out. And then starting with the side front facings and you can see kind of in the pattern here that that's this is on the inside and I am going to make the uh, front piece that like a front panel that goes over the center front so that's what makes it look like a skirt so I'm gonna do that I, I just I'm cutting cut the short version and then this little piece here is how it closes in the front and it's got this like fall front thing so yeah I'm excited I'm using blue corduroy that I had in my stash I really like the color and I thought it would pair well with my gold wool vest that I made a few weeks back I pinned the side front facings together. After sewing the side front facings, I trimmed the seam allowance, clipped the curves, and turned them right side out, and ironed. Next, I pinned and sewed the side front facings to the side fronts. The ironed edge of the facings are folded over the seam allowance, and I'm very careful to not go over the stitch line into the side front seam allowance. The front facing is next. I used the corduroy instead of lining material. The facing pieces are pinned and sewn matching marks. Then I pinned and sewed the center fronts from the waistline down through the curved edge of the crotch seam. I trimmed and clipped the crotch seam. My next step was pinning and sewing the center front facing to the center fronts. This will create the fall front opening. The bottom edge of the facing is zigzagged and the top edge is left open to be attached to the waistband. Then I pinned and sewed the side fronts to the center front, stopping at the marks and not sewing into the facings. Onto the center back. Like the center front, the crotch seam is pinned and sewn and the seam allowances are trimmed and clipped. Next, the side backs are attached to the center back. Lucius was very adamant that pets were of utmost importance and sewing would have to wait.
Okay, things are progressing very well. And I just sewed my side backs to the back. And next I'm going to sew the fronts to the backs at the side seams. And then it's basically put together. Have to do the waistband and then all of the buttons and the closures and everything and hem. Seemed too easy. <laughs> I'm suspicious. I pinned and sewed the fronts to the back at the sides. Then I pinned and sewed the leg seam. Waistband time! There is a front waistband that attaches to the fall front and also a back waistband. I didn't follow the instructions for the front waistband and I'm not sure why. I sewed the back waistband down on the inside with a whip stitch. For some reason the top of the fall front ended up longer than the top of the rest of the waist. So since this was hopefully a wearable mock-up, I just folded it over to the inside and whipped it down. Buttonholes on the fall front were next. I also chose to close the waistband with a hook and bar on each side of the front. I sewed the buttonholes by hand. Then I sewed on some metal buttons. Here you can see how the fall front buttons up. The side front facings will close with a button as well. For the removable front panel, I put decorative buttons under the three fall front buttonholes and closed the rest of the front panel with snaps. I was going for speed and convenience and didn't want to spend a ton of time sewing buttonholes and it not work out, but it did and so I will do buttonholes down the front panel in the future. Then it was done. I wanted to show you how it's put on with the side front facings and the fall front as well as the front panel. I am over the moon with how this split skirt turned out. It is just so much fun and really easy to bike in and walk in and it's just super cute, I think. And so now I have Victorian secret pants. Awesome.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Stay tuned next week for the beginning of my next project and it's an 1840s project. I'll see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye.